On behalf of the Logos Historica Verita, greetings. This humble scribe begs to present you with an extract taken from When the Expanse Burned, authored by Corvin Lazarus, Lord General Militant of the Dargonis Planetary Defense Garrison. By his will, via this extract, I hope to shed the Emperor's light on the events that occurred on the planet Euphrates II in the Emperor's Palm system of the Coronis Expanse. Now, by his will, let us begin. The Emperor protects. A general once said that all wars are fundamentally the same. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. Grox. Shit. That general had not witnessed the events on Euphrates, too. Rogue traitor Von Valencius was the supreme commander in that battle. A man of iron will. Unfaltering, unshakable. I served in his personal enforcer guard back then. Just another cocky kid who thought that he was <laughs> an expert soldier. <laughs> The Emperor was gracious to me. He gave me a chance to realize just how wrong I was. Most of my comrades didn't get a chance like that. The shuttles would have blocked out the sun if one could see it through the smoke of the Manufactorum city of Sigma S-13. At its heart, stood the Machine Cathedral, our primary objective. The Lord Captain's orders were to commence a lightning-fast assault. We were flying straight into a hail of artillery fire. For many of us, that was the end. The rest were being thrown around in midair, praying that the next shell would miss their shuttle. But the losses were justified. With that surprise attack, we seize the initiative at the start of the battle. Upon descending from orbit, Sister Argenta inspired the troops with the very first notes of her prayers. Her singing was the Emperor's voice commanding us to fight without any regards for our own lives. After Rousing the soldiers to launch a daring raid, she quickly captured one of the heretics' commanders. <laughs> oh, that was when we heard a starkly different voice from the Sister of Battle. Trembling with fury, she personally interrogated the miscreant, pulling one poison confession after another out of him. Once she was done, the world was purged of his impure breath. And she, she was the one wielding the flamer. Oh, the sight of that heretic writhing in flames was imprinted upon our memories, shining a light on the cruel darkness of our immediate future, like a brilliant beacon. Hey folks, this is Athicus. Um, that's the end of page two of the Euphrates II invasion. Um, I had a heap of fun reading that. Uh, I do have some of the rest of it recorded as well, so if there's interest in hearing the rest of this invasion narrated, please let me know and I'll put the rest of it up. Um, as well too, uh, this game has a massive amount of unnarrated text that I would absolutely love to read. So if there is a passage that you're particularly interested in, um, do let me know and I'll see if I've got it. Um, I've only finished the game once in an Iconoclast playthrough. Um, I did scoop up, I think, just about any kind of like text that I found. And I do believe I also remember to make recordings of things that I thought were particularly poignant. So if you got something, do let me know and I'll, uh, I'll have a look and see if I've got it too. I am also working on a dogmatic playthrough on hard difficulty right now, which has been interestingly divergent already from the Iconoclast playthrough, and it's got me quite curious to see the game through. Here comes another 100-plus hour ride, I guess. Anyway, folks, 
thank you very much for checking this out. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you have any comments upon pretty much anything related to this topic, please do let me know. Um, as always, friends, stay safe out there and don't forget, the Emperor protects. <laughs>